the committee, excuse me, the sheriff characterizes this book as a book about raping and molesting children. How do you characterize it? I characterize it as a book of showing people have, who have been improperly represented and also uh, telling people how they can go about to improve their own lives and so that these people that are being incarcerated now can possibly be rehabilitated. Mr. Biggs, are you a danger to society? What's your, what would you like to say to him? I don't know him. I don't know what role he's specifically playing in all this, so I don't want to address that. Do you plan on fighting the charges? Yes. Are Have you, you a danger to society? Like? No. What? Have you ever practiced your rights? Uh, no. Do you feel like you broke the law, Mr. Greaves? I do not feel that way. What do you Why think not? about these charges against you? I think they're really, you know, kind of weird. I mean, uh, I was not the one who solicited the material to be sent to Florida, and I think that Florida law is for Floridans, and Colorado law is for Coloradans. You, Last month, you told a reporter that you think it's okay to kiss, fondle, touch, lick children. That doesn't disturb you on any level? Uh, not really, if you consider the fact that uncles and aunts and grandmothers and grandparents do all of those things all of the time, except for the fondle. Have you ever <laughs> done that to a child? Uh, no, I don't have any children, and I don't keep children around my house. Now, according to the affidavit, you explain in fairly great detail uh -huh. in your book right. about how to avoid being arrested. In other words, things that's acceptable, what's not acceptable. That sounds an awful lot like a criminal who's trying to teach other criminals. Actually, try, you know, to be it's not so much arrested. trying to get them to avoid being arrested as to get them to avoid doing those actions that would cause them to be arrested. Do you consider yourself a pedophile? No, I most certainly do not. I only have sex with grown-ups. What Why do you think it's right book then? I think this is, is entrapment, absolutely yes. Did you know this was a detective you were sending this book to? Who do you think it was? About two or three days after the first contact, I kind of had my doubts about it because of uh, the fact that I wasn't getting any additional mail. And if it had been fan mail, I would have expected more. What made you, you write this mail? book? Uh, I thought I was, but the only thing I actually got was a piece of hate mail from Canada. What Why made you write this book? I wrote this book kind of to exercise my own childhood because when I was a child, I was introduced to sex at a very early age, and I had sex with other children that were fairly young at that time. I stopped all of that at the age of 15, and I didn't have sex again until I was 28. Did someone force you to do that? No, they just introduced it to us, and we didn't know what was wrong or bad. Who introduced you? A 10-year-old girl at a babysitter's house. She'd seen her parents messing around through the keyhole in her door. At what age were you when this started? I was seven. Have you ever touched a child inappropriately? Inappropriately? I don't think so, no. Have you ever touched a child, period, sexually? Sexually, no. What kind of conduct do you think is appropriate between adults and children when talking about oh, these kind of relationships? These kind of relationships? Mostly just playing around, hanging out. Whatever the child tolerates is not my business. When you say tolerates, what do you mean by Welcomes. That? How do you know if they're welcome? Uh, children usually protest when they don't like something, unless they're afraid to. Have you ever had a child protest something that you have done to them? No, never. So what experience are you basing these comments on? Like I said, my youthful grow up, because uh, once I got into adolescence, I suppose you could have identified me as a adolescent pedophile. But since I stopped doing that, I'm also showing that people can reform. Do you expect you're going to have to remain in jail while this case plays itself out? Uh, probably, but I hope not. Do you think you'll make bond? Can you make bond? I cannot make bond. I'm actually quite poor. What? Do you think your book is protected free speech? Yes, I do. Let me ask you a question. You said you don't believe that raping a child is, is, is acceptable, correct? No. All right. Yet in your book, you talk about fantasizing and using children, again, in great detail. That seems to be a That's great contradiction. Rape. That's not rape. It's fantasy. There's a difference, and it's absolutely essential to the reformation of pedophiles, I think. There's some people say it's a how-to book on how to be a pedophile, but when you, I hear you describe it, you make it sound like it's a how-to reform from being a pedophile. That's what it is in my case. What happened is a lot of those people who said that were uh, doing it from the internet. They didn't have, uh, they didn't actually read the book. They were going by the word, 